required the need to address causes of displacement across the globe to address the increasing number of refugees. Ulanya challenges the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees to play its mandated role other than claiming partnership with humanitarian crisis response agencies. Mr. Ulanya was speaking during the launch of the Parliamentary Forum on Refugees and Internally Displaced Persons in Uganda. One, two, and three. Thank you very much. The launch of the Parliamentary Forum on Refugees is the latest move by government of Uganda to address the challenge of displaced persons in the country. The country is currently home to about 1.2 million refugees, as recently validated with the BDBD settlement in Yumbe district, housing the highest number. Much as the government of Uganda, through the office of the Prime Minister, partner, uh, partner agencies like UNHCR, uh, USAID, and other, among others, have intervened to make sure that the refugees get an equal treatment while in Uganda. It should be noted that many gaps are still existing, uh, especially in the management of the refugees, the refugee situation in the country. Uganda is a unique example, probably unique in the world. It is unique, as you all know, because of its generous asylum policy. Refugees are welcome, they are free to travel, they are free to move. Uh, of course, assistance is, fo assistance is focused at the level of settlements, but refugees are free to move as they will. The new forum looks forward to improving and promoting health care, sanitation, education, human rights and welfare of refugees. And only 30% going to solve the problems for which that money was designated should be the reverse. I think that one we shall work together with you, the MPs, because I've been always uttering this statement in some of the forums but uh, oh, it was a lonely voice. But now that you have come, we are together. I think we shall do a lot more. However, finding a lasting solution to the challenge of refugees not just in Uganda, but across the globe, requires addressing the causes of displacement. We need to understand the international dynamics of the subject we are dealing with. What causes migration? What causes movement of people? What causes displacement? Displacement can be voluntary, can be involuntary. And what do people seek when they move or when they get displaced? It is for similar reasons that Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Jacob Olanya, wants United Nations High Commission for Refugees to perform its mandate to the fullest. I get concerned when it becomes the business of our own office of the Prime Minister to be in charge of refugees. It's not right. Somebody is not doing things right. And we need, your forum needs to stop thinking carefully about these things to have these things corrected. Because we're imposing a burden on a country that is already overburdened when it is not its responsibility to do that. Because UNHCR is supported by the globe. The world community supports the UNHCR. Why should it be a burden of Uganda? We're already hosting. That's big enough. That's burden enough. Why must we finance the whole burden again? The newly launched Parliamentary Forum on Refugees and Displaced Persons in Uganda aims at liaising and coordinating with other partners in finding solutions to the refugee crisis. Henry Okrut, UBC. Honorable members of Parliament,